It's been a long-standing dream to be able to correct genetic diseases in humans by a variety of mechanisms. The holy grail is of fixing genetic disorders. The Center for Gene Therapy is one of many centers for excellence here at the Abigail Wexner Research Institute Nationwide Children's Hospital. Like other centers, we really pull together PhD researchers, basic scientists working in fundamental discovery science, and pair them here with clinician researchers. And the goal is always to translate really new and exciting approaches to therapy, to translate those into clinical trials in a way that will have meaningful impact for our pediatric patient population, and hopefully impact for the field across the globe. The Center for Gene Therapy at Nationwide Children's Hospital enjoys state-of-the-art uh, wet bench laboratory facilities and a whole suite of institutionally provided core resources that help our investigators do their most innovative and most rigorous work. To augment that, we have an experienced regulatory affairs group that works with the FDA and other regulatory agencies to help expedite the pathway of those discoveries through product development. We support a world-class in-house uh, GMP facility and viral vector core uh, so that we can manufacture the early stage products coming out of our gene therapist labs into uh, first-in-human grade uh, clinical products. Uh, we support a robust clinical trials infrastructure so that we can recruit patients to the hospital and dispense those treatments in the form of phase one and two early stage trials. And we also support a very experienced Office of Technology Commercialization, which helps our investigators find commercial partners to take that early discovery and get it to market as quickly as possible. Researchers at the Center for Gene Therapy are working on a whole range of genetic disorders with a goal of treating them by a variety of approaches to gene therapy. Spinal muscular atrophy is a rare disease of childhood. It occurs in about one in 6,000 infants. It is caused by a disease of the spinal motor neurons. Spinal motor neurons are the nerve cells in your brain and spinal cord that control all your muscle or motor activity. Mice who have a disease that for all practical purposes simulates early childhood SMA1. The mice die at 13 to 16 days of age and putting in the gene um, for, uh, to replace the missing spinal muscular atrophy gene which is called SMN the SMN gene, replacing the SMN gene now, can maintain life in an affected mouse for over a year. So going from 16 days to a year is pretty profound. My lab is interested in developing gene therapy approaches to treat a dominant muscular dystrophy called facioscapulohumeral muscular dystrophy, which is also abbreviated as FSHD. FSHD is caused by upregulation or actually derepression of a gene called DUX4, D-U-X4. And so our goal is to try to suppress DUX4 uh, using gene therapy approaches and other approaches, and with the, the goal being to reduce its expression to a level where it is no longer toxic to muscle. Just about 10 years ago, FSHD was at a crossroads where we didn't even really quite understand the mechanism underlying the disease. And as a result, there weren't good animal models. Uh, and as you might imagine, then there weren't therapies developed. We know the mechanism, which is derepression of the DUX4 gene. There are several animal models now that express DUX4 and they develop myopathy. We can use these animal models to test therapies, and there are a number of therapies that are online now uh, in, in various stages of the um, translational pathway, some preclinical, some getting to clinical trials that are aimed at reducing DUX4 expression and hopefully uh, impacting FSHD myopathy. We're at a point now where we are trying to translate some of our preclinical work to clinical trials. And we hope that if all works well, that in 10 years we would have a therapy on the market. My lab works uh, on neurological and neurodegenerative diseases. We develop new in vitro models because one of the challenges 
in these diseases is that we don't have access to the brain tissue. So we use patient skin samples and we can reprogram them to really study them in a dish. We also develop new therapies, including gene therapies. We have several of them that we translated from the bench all the way to the clinic. And we continue to do so for, for multiple diseases. This includes spinal muscular atrophy, as well as several forms of Batten disease, but also Rett syndrome and other diseases. My hope is that our research will help to make gene therapy better, safer, and also um, will make it possible to give gene therapy to a broader um, patient population, maybe for bigger diseases, not only monogenetic diseases, and, and also really kind of starting to integrate the genetic information with these new and upcoming therapies. We want to understand how they really work. I think we're still in its infancy. We have to understand a lot more so we can, we can really gain the maximum out of these therapies. We think we've just scratched the surface of what we're able to do with AAV-based gene therapies. There are many single gene disorders that we think can be treated with AAV, and really it's our goal to find appropriate ones that we can, uh, we can address here from the bench all the way to the clinic, and to find those in ways that have a meaningful impact for patient and their families.